In wenigen Minuten wird es wieder einen Ares Schulkontakt geben mit einer australischen Schule. Allerdings wird das über Telebridge realisiert, das heißt eine Station in Belgien ähm, wickelt den Funkkontakt ab im Prinzip, also stellt die Funkverbindung her und von Belgien nach Australien geht das über eine Telefonverbindung. Und dadurch ist es so, dass wir hier in Europa die Möglichkeit haben, das Signal der ISS, also der Downlink auf 145, 800 Megahertz ähm, ja, mitzuhören. Well, it's a difficult question. Uh, you know, I never thought I could be an astronaut because it always seemed so difficult. And finally, uh, after a little while, while it, when I was in my 20s as a test pilot, I finally met an astronaut, found out what they did. And then I met uh, John Young, who had been to the moon a couple times and talked about landing vertically. And I was a helicopter pilot, so I thought maybe that would be something I could do. So probably prior astronauts inspired me the most. Over. 5-9, Signal ist sehr stark. Well, probably the most amazing thing is the view. Um, when you look out the window and you see our planet, it almost looks fake, but we're going past it so fast. Um, you can see continent after continent, ocean after ocean, and it's absolutely beautiful, and you see it's absolutely alive. Not only the people, of course, and the animals, but the clouds and the, and the air and the wind. You can see the formations of ice and, and clouds and the uh, rock formations of the planet, over. It's a great question because we do circle the planet 16 times in a 24-hour period. So we use Greenwich Mean Time um, and that way uh, we have half a day, uh, a working day in the United States and half a working day in Moscow our, where our control centers are, over. Sure, we're doing research on a lot of things, biomedical, meaning ourselves a lot, um, also materials, uh, working with fire and capillary flow, as well as doing engineering things. We have a robot up here that's doing some experiments. We have uh, an alpha magnetic spectrometer that's on the outside of the station that's doing experiments, and a whole lot more. Over. Not all of us are doctors, uh, but we do get some medical training uh, in case anybody does get sick. And we have a whole full complement of uh, medicines up here. But we primarily, um, do, if someone got sick, we would work with the doctors on the ground and use uh, communications, telecommunications, to uh, get someone better. Over. Interesting question. Yeah, a couple of us have dropped stuff outside. Uh, my first spacewalk, I lost a camera. Um, uh, but, you know, those things uh, more than likely uh, come back into, into the atmosphere. People track that uh, the size of maybe a softball, and then they can uh, see where it's going. But most of that stuff eventually comes back into the atmosphere. Over. We have about an eight-hour working day. We get up around six usually and go, uh, get finished with work around eight o'clock and lunch in the middle there. And uh, so then we work most of the day, uh, be, you know, before lunch and after lunch. And then after dinner, we have a little free time to talk to family and friends, uh, get caught up, do some email. Um, but it's pretty much uh, every day. Over. Yes, I'm Einmal die packet radio frequency. Mit einmal der FM Downlink mit äh, Dopplerpunkten. Uh, not really. Uh, you know, we're in a low enough orbit that there's, uh, you know, not a lot of stuff.
big stuff around us, and if there is any big stuff, we try to do what we call a debris avoidance maneuver, where we actually rotate the station. We don't have the ability to move it too far, but we can rotate our orientation or do a reboost to increase our altitude. Over. Well, it looks like Earth is so peaceful and it's uh, so beautiful and what a lucky place uh, we are, we have to live because it's so alive and, and beautiful. And so what it really makes me feel like is uh, people should all be really nice to each other because we're lucky we have our beautiful planet. Over. Ich habe die Frequenz eben nachkorrigiert, jetzt geht es wieder etwas besser. Not really. Um, sometimes you hear some creaking, but I think that's just from the thermal extremes outside, like the heating and cooling in the metal. But I don't think I've ever heard anything else outside. Over. Oscar November 4 ISS, this is Oscar Romeo 4 ISS, over. Oscar November 4 ISS, this is Oscar Romeo 4 ISS, so we're still here, over. We're still here with you, uh, Oscar Romeo 4 ISS. If there's more questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, happy to be part of your organization. Over. Well, probably the thing I miss most are the people and, of course, my dog, because my dog symbolizes taking a walk where there's wind, uh, like in the forest or on the beach and uh, the sand and, and the beach itself. So the things on Earth that you can't get up here, over. We have four huge solar arrays, and so we get power for half of the orbit, 45 minutes, and they, charge, they also charge up batteries, and so at nighttime the batteries power the station, over. Well, sort of like my impression of Earth, it really makes me feel like um, we should all be feel lucky that we live on such a beautiful planet. Other planets aren't so hospitable, so um, I feel like we all should be a little bit nicer to each other and enjoy our planet. Over. Oh, my advice is uh, just make sure you have a little bit of a science and math and a uh, background in math and science. Um, and find something that you like to do and do it well and you'll be successful. And uh, I would highly suggest you get into the space business because I think your future is very bright and you'll be uh, up the ones going to Mars. Over. Well, uh, there's no gravity, so it does take a toll on your bone density and, of course, muscle mass unless you do a lot of exercise up here. One other big thing is radiation. Uh, we do get a pretty big dose of radiation, but um, in the lifetime it's not so horrible, so it's, it's okay. Over. Well, we eat all sorts of food up here. If that was the question, it was a little bit blocked. Um, we have, of course, Russian food, uh, U.S. food. We also have Japanese food. We have a Japanese astronaut on board with us. So anything from lasagna to uh, beef tacos to hosen 
tofu, it's all sorts of food. Over. Ja, nun ist die ISS von Belgien aus gesehen hinterm Horizont verschwunden oder hat zumindest keine Funkverbindung mehr, so dass die 17. Frage nicht mehr beantwortet werden konnte. Spätestens wo auf der Packet-Frequenz äh, Packet-Radio-Signale zu hören waren, war klar, dass die Zenita den Transceiver umgestellt hat zum Packet-Betrieb und spätestens damit den Schulkontakt beendet hat. Das war's schon wieder. <lacht>